Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2buzz.com and in this video I want to talk about the Galaxy S2 and you must be wondering why am I making a video about Galaxy S2 unboxing because this was launched quite a time ago and we have rave reviews for this product. But the problem with this product right now is that uh, this Galaxy S2 I bought it in India and uh, this is not the original Galaxy S2. Uh, the original Galaxy S2 was uh, with the Exynos processor and it came with a Mali GPU but what Samsung is doing right now in some of the Asian countries like India and Malaysia they are selling the dumbed down version of the Samsung Galaxy S2 but as you can see clearly in the box it's branded as Samsung Galaxy S2 and also if you uh, go behind it is clearly written that it's the Galaxy S2 and the problem with this Galaxy S2 is that it comes with a what do you say 1.2 gigahertz ti omap processor and instead of the mali gpu it comes with the dumbed down version of power vr a 540 gpu so uh, they have changed the cpu and the gpu on this phone everything else is the same physical physically you won't find any difference and as if you look at, at the box also you won't find any difference it will look just like your standard galaxy s2 the problem that i have is the packaging they should have clearly mentioned something like that Samsung Galaxy S2 G or something here. They do mention it here if you see. You need to be really relevant with the technology that this is not the original version. The original version was just i9100 not the G. So uh, this is the new Galaxy S2 and sadly uh, in India if you're buying a new Galaxy S2 you'll only find these models. You won't find the original model. And let's do the unboxing of the same and and i'll be doing some simple benchmarking with this so that you can see the difference between this phone and the original galaxy s2 and i'm really angry at samsung because i know the companies need to modify the product etc but you should clearly mention on the product branding that it's the different product not the original version and uh, and everything is not bad with this product uh, generally this product uh, uh, is going to get a little bit better battery life compared to the original galaxy s2 this is the galaxy s2 let us see what else do we get we get this charger i do not recall how was the original charger in the original boxing and we also get a carrying case and some manuals i'm not going to open all that uh, let us quickly let me quickly open up this and let me, I think so we have to take out the battery let me take out the battery yeah and we get the USB cable earphone plugs earphone and the battery let me take out the battery also uh, I've heard that this uh, G version has lowered the 3g data rates the original version of samsung s2 had uh, hsdpa rates of up to 21 megabits per second but this one uh, restricts to just 7.2 mb so again that's bad and uh, also if you are a let's say a person who installs a lot of custom roms etc then you'll have a problem with this model because uh this model does not have that many custom roms compared to the original galaxy s2 so let me put in the battery and let's do the first boot of this phone and by physically looking at the phone you won't find any difference compared to the original galaxy s2 let me just zoom in a little bit and let us try to switch on this phone now and as you can see it clearly says that it is uh, the g model you can identify this by the boot screen but again my problem is that how many people are that much technical to know that difference and i feel this is false marketing with samsung and i'm really uh, annoyed with the same i'm going to all these things and let us just quickly first go to uh, about the phone so that uh, we can see 
and it comes preloaded with the Android 2.3.6 and here also it says the model number is i9100G. Uh, so I'll just load some benchmarking softwares and we'll do some benchmarks on the same and now I have downloaded three benchmarking softwares and we're going to run the same so that we have an idea. I'm sorry I don't have the original uh, Galaxy S2 but I'll just run this first we'll run this quadrant benchmark and i'll post the scores here so that you can check uh, the performance of this uh, g version of the s2 with the original one i'm just going to forward the video and just show you the results again most of the games would play fine with even with this s2 but some of the high-end games might have problem uh, with this a little bit of choppiness and as you can see we're getting fps of about 56 to 61 on this Again, I'm finding the screen to be a little bit dull compared to the original S2, but I don't know, that might be just my illusion. Okay, we're going to post the benchmarks. And here it says that our device got a score of 3215. And I'll just uh, tell you all the scores also. The CPU score it got was 4085, memory 3343, IO. 5849, 2D is 321 and 3D is 2479. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the Nina Mark 2 test and this will test the GPU functionality on this S2, the G variant. And uh, And we are getting about 29 to 32 frames here. Again, I find the screen to be a little bit dull to my liking. And as you can see, we are getting a FPS of just 34.5. I'm going to publish this. And as you can see, the original uh, Galaxy S2 that had the Mali GPU was getting 45.8 and with this g variant we are getting just about 34.5 so clearly the gpu is not as powerful as found in the original samsung galaxy s2 and uh, let me run the last benchmark and that's this one antutu benchmark and we're going to go to this test and we're going to test it with the default settings Again, I'm just going to forward it a little bit to make the video not too long. Now it's testing the CPU. It's taking quite a while. And here we are getting an FPS of about 61. Yeah, 61, still 61. And here we are getting an FPS of about 58 to 59. Almost 60, I would say. Now it's 60.65. Sorry, I don't have the SD card installed on this, so I think so. This SD card test might fail. It's just running on the internal uh, 16 GB storage. And here is the total uh, results that we got. The total uh, score is 5534. RAM is 741, CPU integer is 1518, CPU floating point is 1135, 2D graphics is 154, 3D graphics is 1277, database IO is 355, SD card write is 150, SD card read is 204 and the CPU frequency, uh, just note this, is showing as 1008 MHz and I've heard that the G version that we currently have, uh, the max CPU does not go beyond this 1008. With the original S2, it can go to 1200 megahertz. 
So these are some of the tests that we have done on the Galaxy S2, the G variant. I hope uh, this video helps and I am really annoyed with Samsung, not because of this new version, by, but by the way they are marketing this version. Because for an ordinary layman user, this phone, which is the G variant, and this does not have the original CPU and the GPU, uh, it just looks like the original version to him. But this is uh, sadly the underclocked version, I would say. I, and I hope Samsung in the future revisions of their phones does not do something like that. If you're going to do it, just clearly name the model as a different one. Call it Lite Plus, etc. I don't care. But please don't brand it like the original product that hundreds of reviewers have given rave review and users are thinking that they are buying that original product. I hope you found this video helpful. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and I hope to see you in my next video.